All right, today we're gonna to do 2.3 notes, getting information from a graph. Um, these guided notes are in your Google Classroom. Um, they're on today's post, so you're welcome to print them out so you don't have to write, uh, sketch out the graphs because it's um, the work we're doing is pretty particular to the graph. Um, and you can write your notes right on here as we go. Okay, so we're gonna start with example one, finding the values of a function from a graph. So the graph above, um, Function t graphed in figure one gives the temperature between noon and 6 p.m. So actually down here, so the temperature is the y value over here, but the x value down here is time at between noon and six o'clock. So this is gonna be our six o'clock, everything below that, five o'clock, four o'clock, etc. Okay, so the first um, question is just asking, find t1, t3, and t5. So we can't do any math to figure this out. We just need to move up the at one o'clock. So T1 is the same as temperature at one o'clock, which is going to be 25 degrees. And we can do the same thing for T3 and T5. So T3 is the temperature at three o'clock, which is 30 degrees. And T5 is the temperature at five o'clock, and that is 20 degrees. Okay. Um, B, which is larger, T2 or T4. Okay, so we can just go look at T2. So that's this value right here, and T4. And we can just tell that T2 is greater because T2 is at 35 and T4 is at about 25. So we can write T2 is greater than T4, and that's all it's asking for. <laughs> so that's it there. All right, and then part C, find the values of x for which t of x is 25. So remember, we're looking for the function temperature needs to be 25. So that's this value right here. And we can see that there's two points, this point and this point over here, when the temperature outside was 25 degrees. So for C, we can write... Um, we can write it mathematically like this, t of one equals 25 and t of four equals 25, but we can also write a sentence. So the sentence is, the temperature was 25 degrees at one o'clock p.m and four o'clock. Okay, part D. Find the values of x for which t of x is greater than or equal to 25. So we need all values where it's this line and above. And we can see that it's only um, above 25 degrees right here in between those two values and including those two values. So um, so we're going to write the temperature was 25 or greater between 1 o'clock and 4 o'clock. And then E, find the net change in temperature from 1 to 3 p.m. So remember, 1 is our initial value and 3 is our final value. So we need to do it in order. Net change equals final minus initial. So that needs to be temperature at 3 p.m. minus temperature at 1 p.m. So that's going to be... Temperature at 3 is 30, and temperature at 1 is 25, so we get a positive 5. So we can write this in a sentence. There was a net increase of 5 degrees from 1 p.m. 
to 3 p.m. And it's an increase because your answer was a positive value. All right, so um, here's a couple notes on increasing and de decreasing. Um, it probably seems obvious to you, but here on the side over here is a little sketch. Um, we can tell that obviously F is increasing at this point. It's decreasing right here in the middle, and then it's increasing again at the end, okay? So um, here are some just um, specific definitions in math of what increasing and decreasing is. So the definition of increasing and decreasing functions, F is blank on an interval if the y first Y value is less than the second one, okay? whenever x1 is less than 2. Okay, so that means that whenever the first y value is smaller and then it's going up, that's going to be increasing. And then vice um, and then on the other hand, f is decreasing on interval i if um, the first y value is greater than the second, so it's getting smaller over time whenever x1 is less than x2 in i, okay? So here's the two examples here. So we have um, x1 first, x1 always comes first, x2 always comes second. f of x1 up here is smaller than f of x2, which means it's getting bigger over time. So in this example, obviously f is increasing, okay? And then in the same, um, the opposite over here, um, you have function f, you have x1 first, you have x2 second, and you have x one, f of x1 here, but it's greater than f of x2. This value is smaller. So over time, f is decreasing in this example. All right, so here's our example, last example for the day. Um, just a quick thing, this local maximum and minimum notes are for tomorrow, or um, I mean the next time you have notes. So you can leave that blank for now. This is our last example for today. The graph in figure six gives the weight w of a person at age x. Determine the intervals on which the function w is increasing and on which it is decreasing. Okay, so this down here is their age. It kind of said that in the thing. And then over here is their weight, which it says up above. W pounds. So the solution here is kind of a is kind of a long statement. So I'm going to go ahead and write it around um, this whole answer. Let's around this graph. So let's see if we can zoom in here. Okay. So we know that it's increasing from zero up to 20 years of age, or something close to 20. Oh, it's 25. This value is 25. We'll just go with that. And it's increasing again right here, from here to here. So I'm going to draw increasing in blue. And I think those are the only two spots it's increasing. So I'm going to write a sentence. The function w is increasing. on basically from 0 to 25 so those first 25 years of age and then right here this is 35 to 40 and from 35 to 40 okay now let's find out where the function is decreasing so the function is decreasing from that 40 value to, um, let's do a different color. Let's do black. From that 40 value to a later time, which looks like 50. So we're going to say the function is decreasing from 40 to 50. And then we need to show when it's constant, so it's not increasing or decreasing 
in these years, okay? So the function is constant from 25 to 35 and 50 to 80. Okay, and then we're going to go over here and we're going to write this whole graph out in the form of an actual statement um, based on the story of the person. So we're going to write the person gained weight, so increased in weight until age 25. then gained weight again between ages 35 and 40. He lost weight between ages 40 and 50. And that's kind of the story of his increasing and decreasing weight days. Okay, just a reminder that the rest of the notes are for another day, so you can stop here.